for this video, I'll answer a question from Rodrigo in the forums about setting the width of columns in the loop script. Turns out he is generating some HTML in the loop script and he's wanting to control the appearance of it. I've done a similar thing in the past and I can show you what it looks like. So here we've got a Zoho Creator view and it's got a table here doesn't have any rows in it, but we can have a look at how the different columns have different widths. For example, distance from width is relatively wide, whereas name is relatively narrow. How is that done? Well, if we look at the code, we've got here two things. We've got some CSS up the top. CSS, or cascading style sheets, is how you control the appearance of a table. You can see that mine is green, which you may or may not like. And the CSS was generated by, there's a tool that I like to use called Table Styler, where you can choose from a variety of designs and then it will give you the CSS here. So you can see that's very similar to what I have in my code here. And I've basically just copied the CSS from that page and I've put it into a style tag in the Zoho Creator HTML snippet there. Then I've got the table and that's wrapped in data grid so that this CSS will apply. And then the, the other thing that I'll call out is if we want to make a particular column a little bit wider, or narrower, we can do what's called an inline style. We need to do it like this, where we can say style equals width 50px, or we can do class equals narrow column, and then up here we can define what the style would be. So we can say 100px. Or we can try, if we want to make it really big, we could make it 300px as an example. It's probably more like a wide column. So now if we reload this page, you can see name is a bit wider and we could make it even wider still. Actually didn't get as wide as I was hoping, so we can to debug it, we can right click and do inspect. And then if we look at this one here, we can see that wide column where it has that little warning sign there, that means it was overridden by these CSS rules here. To overcome that, we can make our CSS rule a little bit more specific. Now it's very wide. I had a little typo before. I had quote marks there. It shouldn't have quote marks. It should look like this. So with that, that kind of control, you're able to change the width. You can change the color. Anything that you would like about your table. Hopefully that.